player receives the check-in from one of his coaches. Into the box, Billy Anderson. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that'll get into center field for a base hit. The run comes across to score. And at the plate, Billy Anderson. As he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. So gets up and makes the catch to end the inning. Off Here we go. Right now. Come on, guys. Oh. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Anderson. In now, Billerson. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. The third baseman, Stephen. At the plate now, Stephen Haas. This he'll get caught chasing. Billy Anderson. Right, fielder. Billy. right side, Anderson. but it's going to be a foul ball. The one for three thus far. Hit back up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at all to make the effort. The inning will continue. job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly be his last. 
five two the final score tonight the Braves jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked Kyle Muller earns his first win of the season Josh Graham hammers down the save his first of the year so that just about does it for Marta Dan Pleszak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the new website the show dot com. Time of the ball game, three hours and minutes. Three. Anderson. Anderson line drive he's hit in a center field now here's a swing and this is hit well that ball has a chance and it is gone a home run That's pop out towards yeah, short right field. Goins moving to it. That's the third out. Anderson. He grounds it sharply to third. And there's one away. Now batting, right fielder. So now play Billy. He swings and lines it to left. And he'll lay out to make it. Wow. Now back. Left fielder. Heading out towards shallow. Anders has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And no shot of testing anything there. Anderson. Hey, you can do it, kid. No one better up there. Let's go. Into the box. Anderson as he rips it on the ground to second. And there's a bait. So a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this. Hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5 3 The Braves wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Claims the win out of the pen, his first. Josh Graham earns the save out of the bullpen, his second. The wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Anderson. Oh, we're... In the center fee for a base hit. Langoliers isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. The tag, and he's safe. We're all square. And Keith Dorsey takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in X. Hey, it took him an extra frame to do it, but hey, going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. Jake Fishman claims the win out of the pen, his first. C.J. Carter wraps it up for the save, his first of the year. That'll put a wrap on things here. This
Play hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team. Unearned runs cost this pitcher a win. It stings when a game slips away that shouldn't have. An empathetic coach offers support and encouragement. We hear all the time from people around the game that double A is where you start to see the breaking balls that are really set apart from what you've seen before. That can be a big challenge for a young. Connor Scott is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Another 1 2 delivery. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. In now, Devin Hairston. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of a strike two. Looking for back to back K's to start the game. Popped up Etherton in foul ground. And he lays out, but he can't make it. We'll do it again. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Popped up. Penay has a play, but it's the pitcher that makes the play. And there are two gone now. That is good. No left field. At the plate now, Griffin Conine. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Now the 0-2 pitch down the third baseline. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is. Anderson. now Billy Anderson as he lines it out to center and that's in there base hit and the run will score from three to nothing game Leading up for the to the plate now Riley Mahan second baseman as he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat it's strike one and they've got some work to do early on down four nothing already fouled off 
And he struck him out. Batting fifth. So now to the plate, Corey Bird. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Drilled right back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Batting fifth. Stepping in now, Stephen Haas. High and deep down the left field line. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. 0 and 1, here it comes. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. In now, number nine, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Heading out towards shallow right. Green is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. At the plate now, Santiago Chavez. As he'll lay off a curveball in the dirt for ball one. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Strike taken, good bender on the air. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language on the mound, he's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first no out. Lester Vesperis is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. High in the air out to center field. Waters is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Standing in now, Connor Scott. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hit hard down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. The to plate now, Devin Hairston. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Bird moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number Leading up. At the plate, Griffin Conine. The left field. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. In now, Riley Mahan. Uh, so he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fastball called for strike two. Now the 0 2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Into the box now, Corey Bird. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. High in the air down the right field line. Bird is a guy that has a lot of speed no doubt about that and while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays and not only just speed but first step quickness speed he's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to and sometimes that's half the equation but one's all they were ever going to get and the inning will continue Stephen Haas stands in as he swings and misses for strike one sent on the ground out to second throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired now that is the pitcher Billy Anderson standing in now Billy Anderson and on the first pitch he hits it in the air to right He's under it, and that ends the inning. Yeah. 
leading up for the Blue Wahoo. Stepping in now, number nine. As he'll go after the two and comes up empty, it's strike one. Flew out in his only at bat so far. And it's one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Hit back toward the mound. Fielded cleanly. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Now batting. At the plate now, Santiago Chavez. Fly ball right down the line and left. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. J.J. Bladé will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Now the first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted down the line and left. And that's going to land foul. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Another one sent foul. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. At the plate, Connor Scott. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Swing and a liner. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Throw into second. And he's going to make it there. Barely as he's into second base with a double. In now, Devin Hairston. As he will swing and miss at a breaking pitch on the outer half, it's nothing in one. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. And that one yanked just foul. Ready with another 0 2. Now a little looper down the left field line. And this is going to dunk in out there, a base hit. And they'll get back a run here as they're on the board. It's four to one. Into the box, Griffin Conine. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Reined in to second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. So now to the plate, Riley Mayhan. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. This one's down to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Anderson. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson. Skied into straightaway right. Bird will get there and he puts it Ladies away to retire the side. The traditional seventh inning stretch. Leading up to the, the plate now, Rodgers. Corey Bird. The right view. Hit weekly back Corey. to the mound. Throw on to first in time, one away. Into the box now, Stephen Haas. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Hit to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. At the plate now, number 9. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike 2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Leading up 
In now, Santiago Chavez. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And that's in there, base hit. Chris Chenea will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And now the first pitch. And he swings right over the top of this one, nothing in one. Swings through it for strike number two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. A ball grounded to short. This could be two. One there on to first, and that's the very last thing they need in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. At the plate, Connor Scott. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. He's two for three and looking for more here. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Hey, this is amazing. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Braden Shoemake will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Boy, did these guys come out swinging the bat today, but their pitching and defense was pretty good, too. Allowing just one run, they never gave the other team a chance in this one. Eight to one is the final tonight. The Mississippi Braves took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Billy Anderson gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Lester Vesperis was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight for my partners in the. prospect receives a check-in from his agent who wants to make sure his client's career is being launched in a way that suits the young man's goals and ambitions. minor league pitching coach offers advice to a new member of his staff. Standing in now, Billy Anderson. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1-0. 
Into the box, Billy Anderson. He grounds it sharply to third. There's one. On to first, a double play. Into the box now, Billy now Anderson. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's one for two in this one. Now here it comes. A bouncer to the left side, scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Plate now, Billy Anderson as he puts it on the ground to third. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Anderson. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. And there's a base hit, and this could wind up as an important insurance. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get the next two, the series is theirs. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. Braves wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Trey Riley earns his first win of the season. So that just about our does it alliance. for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. For the Shuckers, three runs on 10 hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base. Anderson. At the plate, Billy Anderson hit in the air down the right field line. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson as he lifts it in the air to right field. Lutz is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Now back. Right to the plate now. Billy, Billy Anderson. Anderson. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Short. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ballgame. Anderson. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. Lined hard to center field. Abreu is there, two gone. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. The Biloxi Shuckers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Zach Brown takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Anderson. hit ball to second but this is hauled in by the second baseman Josh Graham comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth three to two the finish in its game the Biloxi Shuckers earn the victory despite only collecting four total hits Phil Bickford claims the win out of the his first so that just about do it for Mark
It's actually happening. The organization has decided to try him as both a position player and as a pitcher. They're really trying it here at the double-A level. Jonathan Mayo of MLB Pipeline is with me. Jonathan, do you think this could work? I mean, a manager confronts his club about an unacceptable team statistic. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Put that in the memory. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. And Pablo Abreu, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. A ball and a strike. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time 68 degrees. Big curveball at 69, but that sweeps across the plate. It's a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Looked to be a pitch that caught a lot of the plate right there, so that might be a little indication of the strike zone we can expect the rest of the way. In there, a base hit. At the plate right now, here. Kristen Lutz, as he'll take a change up here for strike one. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waters is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. In now, Peyton Henry. A first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. On the run is Heredia, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1 0 lead. Standing in now, Leo Vera. As he'll take a good look at a curveball that sweeps right across the zone in there for the first strike. On the ground to the left side. He's got it. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. So now to the plate, Cooper Hummel. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Stepping in now, Ozzy Negrete. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. To the plate now, Rod Penn. No balls and one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Green is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. At the plate, Leo Crawford as it's on the ground toward the hole. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. At the plate now, Eduardo Garcia. And he fouls this one off. Struck out in his first at bat. 
up. One away here to begin the third. Into the box, Pablo Abreu. Langoliers is there. He hauls it in without any, and there are two away. Standing in now, Tristan Lutz. Pops this one up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Flied out in his first at bat, so make one so far. And a curveball taken for strike two. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Green gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Anderson. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. Don't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe route. In now, Peyton Henry. The catcher. First pitch here is hit off to the right side and fouled. It's strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Behind 0-2 now. Pitch on the way. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. Yeah. One gone. So now to the plate. Leo as he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really at there as well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So it's a backwards K on the changeup that time. Leo Vera goes down for out number two in the top half. High in the air out to yield. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. At the plate now, Billy Anderson, a bouncer up the middle, fielded cleanly, throws there at first, so the error doesn't hurt him on the scoreboard as the inning is over. Stepping in now, Ozzy Negrete. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Green is there. One pitch, one out. Into the box, Rod Penn. Hani pops it up. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Flew out in his only at bat. So, vision to swing that time, and as a result, 0 and 2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And quickly, there are two away. To the plate now, Leo Crawford. Now a swing as he pulls this one down the line in right. And that'll get down for a base hit. Into the box now, Eduardo Garcia. And he puts it on the ground to second. And the inning will continue. It's through for a two out hit. So now to the plate, Pablo Abreu. Popped him up. Rijo to his right. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Leading off with velocity, Tristan. In now, Tristan Lutz. As he takes a strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. This manager pencils these guys in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Swing and a miss as he ran the right by him for the first out. 
Standing in now, Peyton Henry. As he gets a curveball at the letters, behind through it, it's nothing in one. Working on a one for two game so far. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. A ball and two strikes now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. The next one, two pitch. Still a ball and two strikes. Pitch is popped up. Langoliers moving to his left. And he'll reach first safely. Into the box, Leo Vera. Another way to left center. Giving chase is Heredia. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. To Cooper Hummel lifted the other way down the left field line. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Ozzy Negrete. As he'll go after a curveball out of the zone to start the at bat, it's 0 1. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's through into left, so a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Stepping in now, Rod Penn. As he'll take a look at a curveball that drops in there on the outer half, it's strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Right down Main Street, caught him looking. Jace Peterson will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Now the 0 2 pitch. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Aredia. He's got it, and there are two down now. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Can't get the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. And it's fouled away. The 0 2 once more. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Trains up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something. Our final line score first for the victorious Braves. Four runs on 11 hits. One error. They left 12 men on base. For the Shuckers, three runs on 10 hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base. Anderson. Right guy, right spot. Come on now, kid. At the plate now, Billy Anderson. As he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Anderson. Standing in now, Billy Anderson. And he puts it on the ground to second. Peterson fields it cleanly, and there are two away now. Now that right fielder. Billy. In now, Anderson. Billy Anderson as he puts it on the ground to third. Scooped up over to first, and that retires the side. Anderson. Yeah, we need you right here. One to the plate now, Billy Anderson. As he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. Now batting. At the plate, Billy Anderson as he chops it on the ground toward the right side. 
And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is. A one run finish, four to three, the final tally today. Aaron Ashby claims the win out of the pen. Jim Callis of MLB Pipeline joins me on the podcast today. Jim, do you think this two-way experiment can work? Well, it's difficult. You know, it's interesting to take a look at, but there's a reason this doesn't get tried very often is that it's very hard to be a big league hitter. It's very hard to be a big league pitcher. And when you're trying to do both at the same time, it really increases that degree of difficulty. I, I always mm -hmm. think of a guy like Dave Winfield, who was probably the best two-way player. You know, he's drafted in football and basketball, too. Unbelievable right. athlete coming out of Minnesota. And the Padres took him right almost at the top of the draft. He'd struck mm -hmm. out 15 in his last College World Series game, and they didn't even mess around with it. They just put him in the big league. Right. They put him in the big leagues, but immediately as a hitter. Um, so it'll yeah. be interesting. It can work, but it, it's that much harder than trying to just make it as a one-way player. A player new to his double-A squad gets a tip from one of his coaches. Into the box, Billy Anderson lifted in the air to center field. Siani finds some space out there for the catch to retire. Anderson. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson. That softly hit to right, will that get down? And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now batting, right fielder, Billy Anderson. Standing in now, Billy Anderson, as he grounds one briskly to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Anderson. At the plate now, Billy Anderson. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. On to first, and there were two down. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The, the key is they didn't panic or press. They just the came out here, lookout. played their Field game, and put the losing streak Yoder behind them like professionals are supposed base. to do. Well done. And 
Anderson. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with Brooks Wilson will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Yeah that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two the series is theirs. And tonight's comes to an end six to three the final Chattanooga took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Peyton Soisher earns his third win of the year in relief. Hasil de la Cruz struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. Miguel Figueroa closes the door for the save his sixth. So that's Thank a wrap here tonight. tonight. For Mark DeRosa, and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching safely. MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Now with the plate is T.J. Friedel. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The right fielder. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. And he takes strike. Called on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. To the plate now, Leonardo Rivas. As he'll lay off a curveball up in the zone for a ball. One and oh. A ball and a strike. I know it's the first inning but he better find his release point on that breaking stuff or he's in for a long day in there one and two now and a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away into the box now Narciso Crook bounced towards the mound throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. Stepping in now, Tyler Callahan. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. As an offense right here, 4 nothing. you can't let that get away from you. You're a grand slam from tying this one up. Everyone take a deep breath and just start getting some guys on base. Fouled away. Here's another 0-2. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. So now to the plate, Brantley Bell. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball, he's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. At the plate, Wilson Garcia. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. Late on that one is it's foul off to the left side. Stays alive, still 0-2. And, Little dribbler up the third baseline. The 0-2 once more. Hit down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul, still 0-2. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the. Anderson. Standing in now, Billy Anderson. Swing and a line drive, but this lands foul for the first strike. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. In now, Chucky Robinson. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. And he takes this one high, one and one. 
The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. That brings up Nick Hamill as he'll lift it up in the air. This is back behind second. Goins takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. To the plate now Andy Faraday as he takes a called strike on the black it's 0 and 1 this guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column popped him up Riho is there for it no problem with this one and the inning is over Anderson. Come on, baby. Get the pitch up there. stepping in now Billy Anderson as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two to second for one. On to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. At the plate now, TJ Friedel. High pop up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Into the box now, Leonardo Rivas. Swing and a line drive. And there's their first hit of the game. So now to the plate, Narciso Crook. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Now the 0 1. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball one and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waters is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Into the box Tyler Callahan. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's got it. On to second, but the throw is wide. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. In now, Brantley Bell. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Shoemake is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Leading off for Chattanooga, the first baseman. Stepping in now, Wilson Garcia. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. Garcia has had a nice campaign so far and fans are noticing he comes into today as the second leading vote getter at first base in all star fan voting. Yeah and he's been having an excellent season to date making a push towards that all star game. Hey fans get out there and vote this guy sits in second place but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. At the plate Chucky Robinson as he'll take a change up here for strike one. 0 for one for him here in this one. On the ground up the middle. And there's out number two. Standing in now, Nick Hamill. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Flew out and is only at bat so far. Hit softly on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is. Into the box now, Peyton Soisher. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He's getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. Good changeup, and it's 0 2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. So now to the plate, TJ Friedel. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold. 0 and 2. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. 
Shoemake backs up and takes care of it. Two away. At the plate now, Leonardo Rivas. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. One for two in the ball game thus far. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Here comes the one two. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Misses, ball two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. And he'll reach first safely. Into the box, Narciso nice. Crook. As he'll watch a curveball that bends in there under his hands, it's strike one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And another foul ball. Rivas leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Another one sent foul. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. And he got him. Anderson. To the plate now, Billy Anderson. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. A hit in two tries for him so far. High in the air out to center field. Hamill will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Leading off for Chattanooga. In now, Tyler Callahan. Tyler. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. No hits to this point. Fouled off. Hit to third. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. At the plate, Brantley Bell. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Well, he got the leadoff guy in the inning on a ground out, and now he's 0-2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seventh. Into the windup and the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's the second out. Standing in now, Wilson Garcia. Batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well. Keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate, good command of the off-speed pitches, very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. At the plate now, Chucky Robinson. Change up to him, drops Chucky in there for the first strike. Robinson. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waters gets under it and Ready makes the catch to. Into the box now, Nick Hamill. And he is frozen on a good curveball that started at his hip at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Man, this pitcher is on right now. Pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Reese Hines will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First pitch on the way. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And there's a base hit on the line. Now 
to the Jay Friedel as he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh, that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Popped him up. Riho over to his right. And that ends the inning. Jeffrey Ramos gets the call as a pinch hitter, and he'll get it. Hey, this was a crazy game. Completely lopsided throughout, but these guys did a lot of things right. It's hard to blow somebody out like they did and still get a shutout.